What's up everybody, welcome back to Old Folks TV. We're doing it, still. <laughs> uh, you remember last week when we were playing with this motor and we got the wiring all cleaned up, super duper nice. We got everything hidden in the back and it's super nice. But that only goes so far. Now we gotta deal with this part. You know, this, this mess, you know, you remember when we pulled that motor out, all these wires bundled up, this, just spaghetti mess back here of who knows what we got original wires we got wires that were added on because they didn't know what the original wires went to who knows what, what they were thinking uh, but I can't have that in there when we try to stuff that in there uh, because it's all going to show it's going to look terrible it's going to make the car look you know not as good as it is or as good as it needs to be so today this will be easy super quick and easy all we gotta do is hide those wires. Um, I've got some ideas of what we're gonna do. Luckily, everything is long enough. I only, uh, I only have to do one sketchy thing and I won't make you watch. Uh, you can cover your eyes, I'll warn you before I drill a big hole in that nicely painted firewall. Uh, but I gotta get this harness out of here and that's the fastest way to do it. So we're gonna punch a hole, we're gonna run these wires out, I'm gonna reroute them. We're gonna stick them up in some new places and, and kind of tuck them in and zip tie them and get them out of the way. Uh, and then this engine bay is gonna be super clean. We'll get it all wiped down, maybe throw a coat of wax on there, who knows. Uh, but that way when that motor's in there, you don't see any wires. Everything looks broken or like it's missing pieces, but it's gonna run like a champ. Can't wait. Let's, let's get in here and dig into some wires, let's go. All right, so first thing we gotta do, we gotta get rid of all the, uh, the little covering that they've got on there you know they were trying to make them look I guess as good as possible but you know this this stuff is it's just bulky and in the way uh, I don't I don't really like it not for I mean it's good but the way they did it is not that good uh, I've already kind of marked I don't have anywhere to put that uh, I've already marked these like this was a uh, your coil, uh, coil positive, and then here's your coil negative, and then uh, this was your oil sending unit. We got a tail light harness, which I'm not gonna do anything with just yet. I'm gonna just stick that over there. This was your alternator. Uh, this one was just taped off. I don't know what's going on. That one. Uh, this is your other tail light harness. This is just on there. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. This one's still zip tied up there. Okay, get that out of there. Oh, that's tape too. All right, this, this is your engine harness. So this we need, but we're gonna make that disappear. And your tail light harness is not going to go through that factory hole anymore. Uh, we're going to move those behind the firewall. This one is your coil. Oh, this one goes to the starter. This is like speaker wire. That didn't even go anywhere. It's weird. Okay, so what we're going to try to do, we're going to start with this one. I'm going to cut this and we're going to put the double sided, uh, come on, let go. I'm going to put the double sided uh, spade connectors on here so we can disconnect it as needed. We'll disconnect it and we'll run it through a different hole, you know, somewhere else. And then we'll bring it back to the taillight and reattach it, uh, thereby getting rid of this whole thing. We'll do the same for that side. And then the engine harness, uh, we'll poke it back probably through this hole so it just comes down real close. And we'll pop it out on this side. This is uh, for the second battery. We'll do it in fast time. Super easy, that way you don't have to hear me cussing and swearing. Let's go.
So I actually found it's kind of easier uh, because he's got LEDs by chip, I think is the ones that he's got. Um, they just have a tiny little plug on them already. And I don't think I want to cut and splice if I don't have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take tail light off carefully. And you see, you know, in there, there's this little plug we just take out. Now, now we put this up safe and we can just push this through the body here. And then when we make the new hole, because these are already a mile long, uh, and this one doesn't have the, that's super weird. It doesn't have the ground on it like the other one. Uh, but we'll just, we've got these labeled. So we'll just push that through and then we'll pull it into the engine bay and we'll run it back around and plug it back in. Then we don't have to cut anything. The less splices we need, the better. Uh, so that's perfect. You know, and then we'll put all this back together. So we'll get that sucked in there. We got some tape off and uh, you know, then we're going to just punch one hole kind of high up inside that fender. Oh, you can't even see where I'm pointing. It's over there. Right over. Oop. Right there. <laughs> so we're going to poke a hole right there and we're going to run the whole harness out before it even comes in. Then we'll put everything back to where it goes. I've got all the wires labeled. There's some weird wires in there that I'm not going to worry about. We're just going to cut those off. So just, we're going to drill a hole. So this is your trigger warning. I'm going to punch a big hole in the <laughs> painted metal over there. Uh, so avert your eyes. Don't look. All right, before we get those wires tucked in there, uh, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'm going to have to go get a uh, a bigger step bit. I need a little bit bigger hole to get the O-ring in there and get the wires. So we'll get that tomorrow. But for today, uh, I got my Chemical Guys Invisible Super Cleaner. Uh, this is just going to knock down kind of some of the, the grease and the oil. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot in there. It's, you know, this was pretty good paint. Look at that. We want this to be as clean as we can get it. Easier to wipe it down now, you know, with the motor out. I can't do anything about these welds over here. I don't have any kind of magic for that. Uh, but at least, you know, it's going to be kind of hidden by the throttle body. I'm already liking that. It's already looking better. I'm gonna hit that with a little, uh, do a little wax on there, a little polish, just to make it extra pop. All right, so we got this uh, Chemical Guys black light. This is what I used on the Gia. I made that thing look like liquid. And it works really, really good. Uh, I've used this on the Tiguan as well. Uh, it's good for anything that's got a lot of uh, saturation. This is way too much. Uh, anything that's got like a nice kind of deep color, I've found that this works pretty good. And we want this to be maximum at least in the spots that you can see it was like enough to do the whole car <laughs> it's okay oh, nothing's going in the trash now a fresh soft towel and we come back here and
This is going to kind of protect it a little bit too, in case any oil or anything gets back here. I don't. People don't usually wax their engine compartments, but I bet you if you ask Kevin, Kevin Smith, <laughs> he probably has. I think that guy waxed the inside of his fender wells one time. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, would you look at that. How's that guy say? Man, I might just have to wax this whole car. I don't want the engine to look nicer than the rest of the car. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, well, our friends at Amazon failed me this time. Uh, I ordered the bigger step bit because the hole that I was able to make was not big enough to fit all of these wires in there. Um, they said, oh yeah, we'll have it there the next day. Nope, nope, nope. It's two days later, I still haven't got it. So I went to our side piece over there at uh, Harbor Freight. I got this thing. It's a massive one and I think it's one and three eighths. Yeah, one and three eighths, big. So we're gonna punch that hole just a little bit bigger so that we can get this harness in there uh, with that heat shrink tubing, uh, just to protect it and keep it clean and keep it kind of looking good. And it's black, so it'll kind of hide up in that little corner. Uh, so I'm gonna punch the hole a little bit bigger and then we'll clean this mess up and, and get it in a sleeve and poke it through that hole. And then we'll marvel at how clean the engine bay is after um, and then we'll run the wires back the way we want to run them so let's go cool now we got this big giant hole we got a rubber grommet in there now we got to clean up this mess that's in here and we're gonna start by getting rid of all of this old tapey junk carefully without cutting into any wires we're gonna try to kind of zip that off it's all full of oil for some reason it's weird And we're not cutting, we're just kind of slicing because I don't want to poke any of those wires, you know, really. Kind of pull that through. Well, that's already a lot better. Gotta get this one. that that's how they butt connected it they put two of them in a spade connector and then folded it over and then wrapped it in electrical tape Hey, there it is. Look at that. How clean is that? Not very. I mean, it's better than it was. 
I got a little more to do here and I think I'm gonna not run it through this. I think I'm gonna try to maybe punch a hole. There's nothing back there. Just punch a hole up here a little bit just to keep this. This is where the axle goes, or at least that's the idea, but the oil line's there, so I don't think it actually goes there. I think they just cut it. Uh, yeah, we got our old oil lines dripping. But I'm gonna run the wires up here, I think, anyways, just to make it look cleaner. That's kind of not good. And I think I'm gonna try to find the black ones, the little tabs. I don't like those white ones, but you get the basic idea. We pulled the wire harness down from the engine bay into the, you know, the clear space of the fender. Nobody's tire is touching back here. If it is, you got the wrong size tires. So, you know, nice and clean. This is cleanish. It'll get cleaner. I can kind of twist it and, and rearrange it a little bit because there's not a lot of wires in there. There's plenty of room. I think I can flatten it down and, and kind of give it a little more. I got a lot of wire. I lengthened the really short ones and threw them over to where they're going to be on the other side. Um, that's where the computer is going to go. That's where the wiring from the alternator, when I figure that out, is going to go. You know, so all in all, you know, pretty clean in here. But really, the ultimate goal was to get it all clean in there. And I feel like we succeeded because there's no wires. Just there, where you see the alternator wire coming out, you know, the, sh the back of the engine tin kind of goes up in that area. So that's actually going to come in underneath and go through the shroud and connect to the alternator inside the shroud. So you won't see those wires. The oil pressure is going to come underneath the shroud and plug in on this side, but it's going to be so tiny, you're going to see like one inch of it. So not too bad there. Uh, all the EFI stuff is going to dip back and back and the fuel line is going to come in and come out through the corners where you don't see them. And then that wire bundle is like way up in the corner over there. You don't see it. I think we did a pretty good job. And that's going to look super clean once that motor is in there and it's, it's that cream color. It kind of takes away some of the brown. You know, you get that nice little contrast. You know, they were looking for like a, uh, I guess it was like a frosty mocha. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see this car because that creamy, you know, color on the engine and everything. I don't know. It's going to look pretty good. It's going to look like a show car should, you know, super clean, no wires in there. It's just, it's taken forever because wiring sucks, dude. Nobody likes wiring. I hate it. But to get the look that we want, we got to do it. So there you go. That's going to do it for this week though. I am burnt out from sitting on the floor oh, and wiring. And that was like 15, 20 minutes for you. That was like four hours, two days in a row for me. Wiring, man, it's super, it's just tedious. It's just tedious, that's all it is. Uh, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish up, finish strong. We're gonna get that motor in soon. Hit the links, check the friends, Amazon store, all those tools, that big giant uh, step bit that I use, that's inch and an eighth. You can get it, just don't try to get it the same day. Uh, but I'll put that in the store down below with some of this other electrical junk that we use today. Um, those new butt connectors, man, I love those things. A little bit of squeeze, a little bit of heat shrink, and it's like perfect. Way more sturdy. Uh, so I'll put those in the Amazon store down below. Hit me in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.